Keeping any design project within budget is essential, especially from a manufacturing aspect. The challenge has been to obtain quotes or manually estimating costs in a big spreadsheet within a reasonable time frame. With the new costing tool in SOLIDWORKS 2012, you can eliminate these budget and time issues by quickly estimating the manufacturing costs of sheet metal or machine components. Let's take a look at the sheet metal component to start with. Using detailed built-in templates that are easy to customize, SOLIDWORKS 2012 helps quickly calculate the manufacturing costs for parts made internally or using regular vendors. Since the tool is completely automated, you can evaluate different vendors, materials or thicknesses and see the price update immediately. The costing tool works by looking at the various part features and assigning these to specific manufacturing operations. For sheet metal, that means cuts, bends and even custom tools or operations. You can drill down into great detail if desired for the cost of specific operations to see the time and cost associated with them. Custom operations can be automatically accounted for based on the template or manually applied as needed. A key benefit of costing is being able to set a baseline to do fast what-if scenarios, like evaluating the impact on cost by adding lightning holes to increase stiffness on these side panels. The tool re-evaluates all the features and automatically updates the manufacturing operations. The tool costs for cut paths is reduced and there are now two library forming operation features added for the lightning holes. It's a little cheaper since the forming operation takes less time than the cutting out of the holes. Everything is automatically captured in a highly detailed report comparing your current concept to the baseline. So when you have to present costing in a design review it's ready to go. It contains a high-level summary as well as detailed cost breakdowns of the initial and final design variations. The built-in template editor makes it incredibly easy to set up operation pricing. Simply define the available stock materials, as well as the cutting and forming tools and anyone in the company can use it to estimate costs. Built-in filter lists make it easy to focus on a particular subset of materials or operations to add or modify values. In an assembly, the costs are rolled up, which makes it easy to evaluate manufactured items relative to purchased items, or identify which components contribute the most to the cost of the project. Let's now take a look at a machined engine backplate. Costing automatically switches to a machine template and calculates the cost. You have the ability to choose if the part will be machined from a solid block of material or from stock plate. Part features are sorted into cutting, milling and hole operations. Tooltips explain the calculations used for estimating cost and the time. There's even the ability to override the type and size of tool used for specific milling or hole operations if desired. As with sheet metal components, it's easy to compare design changes and immediately see the impact on cost. In this part, we want to evaluate the cost of reducing weight by machining additional pockets. Costing re-evaluates the manufacturing operations based on the required tool size, type and cutting speed to remove the necessary material. The new costing tool in SOLIDWORKS 2012 is a great asset for saving time 